Raw. Put away my oven. Had to. Office is too small. Um, if fire hazard, okay, comes to mind, I only have about 25 to 20 square feet in which to work, and that's to do everything as far as rolling out my clay through the machine, past a machine, and um, and also, you know, getting it ready to work with. Um, I share this office with space with my husband. And um, it was just too much of a fire hazard. So let me show you the endless possibilities you will have with working with Kata Polymer Clay Raw. So before I start um, doing any projects with you, I want to introduce you to the main players in this method. Tight Bond Quick and Thick is a PVA wood glue that dries two to three times faster than most wood glues, but it is compatible with other materials and it will give you um, a list on the back of the bottle. Um, it smells just like regular Elmer's or any other white glue. It does not have any um, fumes that I am, that I react to. Um, and um, I can use it just with my fingers because it just peels off. It's, it's PVA. Um, you will need to um, use this glue to seal your polymer clay and you will need this glue to seal your polymer clay to any armatures and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. An armature or a backing which is really great because you can you can absolutely conserve the amount of clay that you normally use when you're making jewelers, when you're making your jewelry, right? Your earrings, your pendants, any anything like that. And I'll show you um, a few projects that I did using raw, the raw polymer clay. And then um, I'll do a series. So I'll take you through some projects and it's, it, it just opened up a whole uh, it, well, here I'm showing you the what I use as backing. It's just cardboard from you know cereal box, but it opens up a whole new avenue. Um, great for people. This method is great for people who are um, collage artists. Collage artists, you will love this because you will be able to um, add something extra to your pages. See, so here's. Um, something that I did just testing out. And those are bits of polymer clay, polymer clay, clay crumbs, polymer clay crumbs on a sheet sealed, excuse me, with, uh, <coughs> excuse me, sealed with uh, the tight bond, quick and thick. And, um, and here's a pendant that I made. Um, I finished it with uh, art resin, but you can see that I used the cardboard backing. And check this out. So it's raw polymer clay under that uh, under that art resin, right? And because it is raw, you can basically take it, and it's very flexible to a point right to a point but it will not crack it will not crack the soft polymer clay that is basically sandwiched between art resin and uh, my armature of uh, cereal box uh, backing cereal box backing right and I've just um, I, I will go through uh, making some shapes with you throughout this series, um, as well as some, as some other things. So I'll take you through the process and you can see and decide for you if this method is for you and um, all the possibilities that you can create. Now, here you go. This is for my collage artist. Look, look at that. That is a rubbing of 
uh, catopolymer clay. So it's raw catopolymer clay that in college artists will understand what this rubbing. It's a, it's I did a rub against a rough background, and then I splattered paint over top. Again, I'm going to go through this and and show you this in the as the series continues. And then I finished it off with uh, the the uh, quick and thick. Here's another one where I took, I just ripped it up. <laughs> I just ripped up Kato and uh, glued it to my paper sheet. See that? And did a little design on the front. Right, collage artists, right? But it's great because you can look, look, look at the shine. Um, and it's wedged in there, it's not gonna fall off. But see that, see the shine? That's not even resin. That is quick and thick. So this stuff is so amazing. It comes out white, dries up nice and clear and hard, very shiny. But you would you do collage artists, you probably would want to finish off with like some sort of um, glaze or something over top, just because it's not uh, waterproof. Quick and thick is not waterproof. But um, these are just a few things that I experimented with, and. Um, yeah, as the series continues, I will show you um, a few things. We'll go through a few projects and I'll show you how to use it. Quick and thick, it's the savior of the century for working with raw polymer clay. And um, yeah, I, I think I even did a bead. Uh, I didn't show it here, but I think I, I might actually do that as well, just to show you how great this stuff is. But wow, this is just gonna take me over the top with using this method. Without an oven, no fire hazard. <laughs> and my husband will thank me. Cheers guys. Follow, subscribe, leave a constructive comment and I will share more little tidbits and go through some projects with you on next time. See ya!